Welcome back everyone. Today we are in the garden working on the grapevines. Everything's dormant right now. You can see all the leaves are gone and we've got to trim up all of this mess. A word about the trellising system. I'm using a four wire trellis system. It has two canes on the inner two wires going both directions so there's four canes involved here and the outer wires are used to drape the new growth over the top this trellis system is designed so that it make it easier to maintain the vines because it's a lot of work to trim all these things all you have to do is pick this up and drop this down and you can see how the outer wire basically disappears and allows you to get to the inner wire to uh, work on the vines and clean everything up. A few more words about the trellising system. Uh, we've got these uh, set up on a four wire trellis system so that the two inner wires here and here hold the main canes and then the shoots that come off of the canes come out here onto the outside wire and they droop over like this and then the the, the canes will hang down and fruit uh, will fruit on the canes. Uh, the varieties that we have are uh, muscadine grapes because they're quite common and easy to grow here in this part of the country because uh, regular table grapes or bunching grapes uh, develop a lot of mold and have a lot of disease issues that the muscadine grapes uh, are kind of resilient um, and don't have that. These are muscadine grapes and they have a tendency to not uh, bunch like, uh, like a regular table grape. Uh, they um, there if you let these things grow wild they'll just they'll just start fruiting all, all over the vine and so um, you've got to trim these or else you you'll be picking grapes one by one is it better to cane prune or is it better to spur prune cane prune spur prune Okay, I am finished with pruning one variety of the grapevines. I've still got the trellis uh, lowered so that uh, when I was working on it, I can get up real close to uh, the vines I was working on. This one is spur pruned. You can see, and again, you can watch a lot of YouTube videos about how to spur prune uh, grapevines, but these are last year's canes and this was the new growth of this last year and you cut that off leaving one or two buds on the end new growth will come out right here and come out and over the the uh, other the outside trellis wire and fruit will grow along that um, that new growth so and this is oh let me make a note here these vines are about four years old this will probably be the fifth year that uh, these vines have been alive or growing okay let's move on down here to the cane pruned plant and as you can see here what i've done is this was last year's growth cut that off this was also last year's growth. This was the main cane. This was new growth from last year. So I selected this, cut this off, put that cane down the wire, and I selected three other ones, did exactly the same thing. Trim, trimmed them off. And then if this uh, proves to be the better way to do it, new canes will be growing out of here this next season and if cane pruning is the way to go, we'll be using these for the canes for the following year, for 2025. So, we're all set here for the cane pruned plant of this particular variety and the spur pruned plant. Now, let me do the other variety and I will show you what it all looks like after it gets cleaned up. Now that we've got all the vines pruned 
I've put the trellis back up. Time to clean up all of the vines that we cut off and amend the soil with a lot of compost and some um, mulch on top. And we'll be ready for springtime. Everything is all done. All the pruning is done. We've got two muscadine grapes that are cane pruned and two that are spur pruned. We've got the mulch on top of the big layer of compost. You can see right there, we're giving them a little bit of a drink. We're gonna have some cold weather tonight. These uh, canes and um, spurs have been weeping. And you can see right here, some of them Maybe you can see it in the sunlight. Some of them are dripping, uh, weeping from the uh, pruning. So we've got two different varieties, pruned two different ways, and we're going to see which one works better, cane pruning or spur pruning.